afternoon, everybody, with the SPX with Action Pack Trading. That's right. We take a look at the last five-day period, which will start on the 17th, and it ended today on the 21st. Now, let's just take a look. Here is the first day of the sell gap. Right to support, same mathematics, straight right back up. So we were long the ES E-mini futures and we were long the SPX index on the option side of the market. And we just want to show you that the gains were bigger to the upside in one of the five-day periods. And that was this period right here. The gap sell, we filled that gap in right here. So we filled this gap in, everybody. I'll just draw a little check mark. We filled this gap in. We come down. We finally hooked the longs where we said to go long because the seasonality and all the great things that go along with everything this year. But we're trading choppy market inflation volatility and that we are so let's just take a look at this green bar it held the half bar but the rally started there and then the down day was never bigger than the up day the daily buy signals had started to go up in value which gave it that support level. The sell gap was filling this gap in, right where this check mark is. That's exactly where we're at. So I want everyone to understand what gaps are and what they represent. And this was where we had the top. This is the gap they filled right there. There's the trend line. There's that volatility reversal. But look, we have bigger up days from the original bottom. And that is a seven-day range. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven daily price ranges. And the mathematics never lie, my friends. So these are bear market rallies. And we have a lot of data coming out next week. This was options expiration related. This is a seasonality time of year where rallies are supposed to happen. And bottoms, how to trade the bottoms, then how to trade the volatility, and what you can use to make the money with. That's why you want to learn everything about price movement, and that you do. You don't want to learn it by opinion. You want to learn it by peer mathematics. And that's the platform that we built. I'm showing you a chart, but on my other screen, I'm looking at our platform that we built that gives us these price ranges on a daily level. So it's a seven-day level starting from the bottom. And then we look at the previous week, which is this week ending right now. And we look at that gap and we look at how accurate the support was and it would trigger you long right here if you weren't in. That's where it would trigger you in at 36.89 entry on that S&P. Yes, it would. Once again, it's a great thing to understand that SPX index and then what the percent level was for the five-day period, what the gap up days were, what the gap down days were, where the support levels were, where the price action was either up or down so that you, my friends, could capture that game. 